hello everyone so in this video i am going to tell you how we will pass this challenge so this is the uh, admin maintenance spring 21 so for maintaining our certificate admin certification we have to solve this module administrator certification Ma maintenance spring 21 where we have to pass a challenge and the challenge is we have to upload uh, we have to download a spreadsheet then we have uh, using that spreadsheet we have to create a custom object and we have to change the label then we have to make the detail page as well uh, we have to change the format of detail page like uh, uh, change into the one column then we have to arrange the order of field and in last we have to uh, uh, apply a condition so that uh, the support level field and the expiration date field only will be appear when we check the active warranty checkbox and after that we have to assign that page for the uh, as a org default so first of all what we have to do it's asking about like we first we have to create a new trailhead playground so first let's start uh, create a new trailhead playground so for creating the playground we have go to the here this three we have to click on this three uh, dot and uh, from here we can create a new playground so let's create and just give the name like and give the name certification and save so, sorry create so it takes few minutes so let's wait Is still creating so it's take might be one to two minute okay so our trail playground has been created and let's down this is let's uh, download this uh, spreadsheet so download oh sorry yeah okay so we have downloaded our spreadsheet now what we have to do let's open this playground so launch this playground and from here we have to reset our password because whenever we creating object using the custom is uh, we whenever we creating any custom object using the spreadsheet so in that condition it's asking about the uh, login so we need our credential so we have to copy our uh, username from here and we set the password <laughs> the objects using the spreadsheet spreadsheet so here we have options like custom object from spreadsheet so spreadsheet so click on this and now it's asking of about the login so we have click on the login with Salesforce and then here we have give the username and password so let's see and login just one second so after inserting the password it's al it's asking about the allow access so uh, let's allow access so click on the allow access And now we have to upload the file here so let's upload the file so click on the upload and then select the sheet so 
so here our file has been uploaded he can you can see he, so this file has been uploaded and these are the fields click on the next and now what we have to do we have to change the label so the label is laptop warranty so copy this and we have to paste here and then here make it plural and uh, the API name is this so let's change this yeah it's okay and now finish this so we have to click on finish let's click and our object is creating and it's imported everything so here we have uh, created our object now what we have to do we have to move the next thing so let's start first we have to upgrade the uh, page so let's see how we will do this okay so from here we have to search for the object so our object is laptop warranty so let's search so this is not an app so it's not showing in app section so here is our laptop warranty just click on here and now what we have to we have go to the record so go to the all record uh, so here we have some records let's open any one of the record and here is the detail page so first what we have to do we have to make this uh, in one column this is in two columns so we have to make this in one column so let's edit the page so click on edit page okay so here we are in lightning app builder first what we have to do when we click on this component so it's asking about the upgrade now so click on upgrade now and upgrade this click on next so it's upgrading in dynamic form and from here we have to select the laptop warranty and finish now we have to make it single column so what we can do just drag this column in here okay so we have to make this single column so here when we click on this tab so it's asking about about the column so click on one column so it automatically arranges the fields in order and uh, now what is the next so we made it to single column now we have to uh, move the active warranty field to the above the support level field so let's do it uh, okay so here is the active warranty we have to make it above the support level field okay support level is here just above the support level field see uh, fill up to the support level field so yeah we have done now what we have to do we have to add condition on support level field remember we have to add condition on support level field and expiration date so let's add the condition so add filter then we have to choose the field over here so here we have to go to the record then <coughs> select the active warranty and done so this field equal to true done and then 
we have to do the same thing here so active warranty equals to true yeah done okay so we have uh, up, uh, complete the things now click on save so it's asking about the activation so activate now it's asking here so we have to make it org default so we have to assign this as org default so as assign this and what about the desk uh, for the desktop and phone so let's make it for the desktop and phone and click on next and save then click on save okay so our changes has been saved now let's back to the page so let's open the record so I'm just opening the record and here we have to check the things like what we have done so here if I am active this box just suppose I'm just check this box through so we have to visible uh, we can see the support level field and uh, expiration date field so let's check this see now we can see the support level field and expiration date field so it's okay just save this and if we uncheck this just suppose if i am uncheck this so the field will not be visible here okay so the, this was the task this was the task which we have to do and uh, now it's time to check like everything is good or not so let's verify the step see finally we have completed the challenge uh, and our maintenance has been done and uh, I, I let's let me show you about the uh, field level security so we will go we will go to uh, we are going to check the uh, like uh, when we creating object using this process so uh, who can see the uh, object so for this let's go to that object so here laptop warranty and from here we can check the field visibility so let's open any of the field and if we check here the field level security so we will find like only admin can see this field see 